don't know a bunch of guys that say that they started from a twenty dollar rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was important. I don't know too many guys that that said respectfully, no, thank you. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Carter, Jay Z. Yeah. Respectfully, uh, but no, thank you. Uh, uh Mr. Mayweather. Respectfully, That's but no, thank you to you know, uh, fifty. That's uh, hard, man. Or, or you know what I mean. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. I, I, not coming out of jail, not having a problem with somebody. There's not no nigga that goes on the internet and say he got a problem with me for about nothing. nothing. So before I ever came on the camera to talk to anyone about anything, I had to straighten out my business mm -hmm. and make sure that, you know what I mean, I'm really, I'm really coming correct. And, I, you know, I don't know a bunch of guys that say that they started from a $20 rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was important. I don't know too many guys that, that said respectfully, no, thank you, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Carter, Jay Z. Yeah. Respectfully, uh, but no, thank you, uh, uh Mr. Mayweather. Respectfully, That's but no, thank you to, you know, uh, 50. That's uh, all. man, or, or, you know what I mean? With, with my son. But what I'm saying is that I said out of respect that even with Jay, is that you've paved the way for Devin and me to do what we do. Too short, out the trunk, you've paved the way for us mm -hmm. to have, you know, to understand what sweat equity meant, right? So we was, we was putting money in the bank when we wasn't put, when we were just putting sweat, you know what I mean? We didn't have the investment capital, but we was constantly in the gym, we was constantly working on our brand on a, a digital perspective. When, when YouTube and was just kind of starting, yeah, right? And you know what I mean? We would go down to Mexico, film it, then put the, uh, upload it to YouTube. Well, when I went back to talk to the executives in television, they're saying that a YouTube presence doesn't mean anything. Wow. A digital presence doesn't mean anything. It's all about getting on television, on linear television. Right. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, now everybody got a phone in their hand and it's, it's more flip. about, it's in flip. So I don't know what the new analytics on it is. Is it more houses or digital or more houses or or linear, but I know that, you know, we doing great in this Man. space. You know <laughs> what I mean? Not, yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, um, when I think about, like I said, you guys definitely, to me, the father and son, that, that's always a great dynamic for me, mm -hmm. no matter how you look at it. Because it's just, it's, it's hard to, man, I just always feel like it's hard to mess with a guy when he got his dad in his corner. You know what I mean? Like, this is real solid, man. Especially a brother that, that been through what you done been through. I don't play with that. I know already. I know what. I know where you've been. You had time to think. Well, a lot of people don't have time to think, Bill. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. And that time to think, it gives you. It gives you a little leeway because it pushes you further ahead. For me, I mean, I think you can see things coming from you know in slow motion a lot right. of time because you had time to think about all the different situations that come your way when you've been through situations, right? Right. And, Absolutely. And so. I, I keep wanting to go back over here. I hear your music background is heavy. You know what I'm saying? People tell me no, that you, wait a minute, from Ice Cube and, and was it Yo-Yo? I yeah, didn't heard all yeah. kind of stuff about you, Bill. Yo -Yo, so so you're going to have to give me these stories, man. Well, you the, know what I'm saying? It, it, it wasn't the King Cube. It was the Queen Yo-Yo that, uh, that, you know, I had a long relationship Correct. with. And, and, you know, but that was, that was a relationship and it wasn't business. And it was one of the best things that it, happened to me at, at that particular time in my life, you know, coming from Oakland and knowing Short and Correct. And knowing Forty and knowing and knowing all of them. Right? MC Hammer. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All of them. You know, you know, know everybody. All of them. All of them. And the thing that I always say is it was good that my son believed in me the way that he did. Okay. You know, blindly. You know what I mean? Correct. For us to, you know, and I couldn't be having a better time in my life. You know what I mean? I, I get it. I wouldn't have wanted it to happen in my twenties. <laughs> like wow! Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, no. I agree a hundred percent, man. You know? I, I, I like to say I, I definitely uh, I'm just proud to be sitting here with you. Um, you. I just You're seen. True. Well, somebody sent me some. Black sent me some about Bernard Hopkins the other day. It was something he said, man. It, I guess you just had something to wear. Some you spoke on um, Bernard Hopkins. What was that about? Well. I was just speaking on Bernard, speaking on the young guys of today. And it's easy to say what the young guys aren't doing uh, in comparison to the OGs. But, you know, I remember, right? We didn't have, I remember not having 
the cell phones. Yeah. Right. I remember not having all those things. Right. I remember going out, going out the house and and you had to go straight. You had maybe 10 cent for to use the, the telephone, 10, 50 cent or whatever to make a call. But you were to go straight there and you were to come straight back. They weren't all the distractions now. You know Correct. what I mean? Correct. So with the kids now, like you don't know if. They're going to make it over there. Did they post something? Did somebody mm-hmm. head them off? You know what I mean? So at the same time, like with the distractions that they have now and those that are still focused, let's give them their props. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. As young, and, and especially the ones that with Bernard Hopkins saying that, um, hey, listen, any of those guys, any of you guys just not in jail, not selling dope, not robbing, bipping, you know what I'm saying, doing all the, the stuff, credit card scamming. Yeah. I kind of hold them in a different light because I come from that. Correct. So I know we really got respect for the real ones that that stay on course. You know what I mean? If you don't have no respect, then you ain't been in the streets. Yeah. If you think that this shit is fly and this shit is a place to be, then I I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree. I don't know. I might need to talk to you because I don't, all the guys that I hang out with and the nights that we spent, we always said, or when we was in jail, we said, man, we can't wait to get out of this shit. That's what I keep hearing. I keep hearing that a lot of street cats can't wait to get out when all these rappers rapping like they're in the streets or want to be in the streets. It don't make no sense. And they have every opportunity to be out of the street and stay out of the street. I, no, absolutely. And I don't, I don't, for all the rappers, right, that's rapping about being in the streets or you know what I mean? Grabbing all these people right. and all this shit. You're going backwards. Going backwards. You're going backwards. Yes, sir. And taking some of these youth with them because the youths are hearing what they're saying and want to do what they're talking about doing. Yeah, I, I'm, like I said, I I don't want to to seem like I've never been that, that been guy. Been that guy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just telling them, like, be careful. I done been shot five times. You know what I'm saying? I done... I done been to prison. I done been broke. I done been had money. I done been heartbroken. I done been every kind of, you know what I'm saying? I might not look like it. You know what I mean? Because I know it's part of it. And I got everything coming that I had coming. I deserved all that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why I don't worry. I don't, I deserved, I deserved to be shot. Yeah. I deserved to go to jail. I deserved all that. But it made me the person I am now. And I'm saying, man, I ain't doing shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.